Well, hey, and welcome back to the living room. We've got some more questions um, that you've sent in that we'd love to answer for you. Yeah. We've been receiving a lot of questions, actually, just generally in the area of um, kind of healthy living and where that fits in with a Christian lifestyle and the balance of healing. Yeah. So particularly, people are asking, um, where do like essential oils and um, healing crystals fit into this whole belief of healing and, and where, where is the basis for them in the Word of God? Yeah, I think that's a really good question because I think there are a lot of natural things that we can do that will be beneficial for us, but it really is where we put our trust, isn't it? You know, a lot of times um, people are always trying to come up with some sort of a healing remedy that goes outside the cross or, or forfeits the cross or doesn't include the cross. And I think for me personally, that's the thing that I have put my trust and my belief in is the finished work of Christ mm -hmm. and what he accomplished on the cross. But in order to help me receive that, are there things that are beneficial, things that are not beneficial? And you know, in our culture today, we have so much uh, of what we would describe typically as new age kind of philosophy that is trying to become almost like another gospel. Well, really it is another gospel because the people who really believe in these new age techniques and kind of ways uh, are very serious about what they believe, but it has nothing to do with the cross and Christ. It's all through self and self, you know, awareness and all of these various techniques. In fact, I have a story to tell you real quickly about some of this, and this just happened to me a few weeks ago, actually. My wife and I were shopping in, in Whole Foods Market one day, and we'd gone over to the supplement section, and uh, my wife was looking for something that contained vitamin A, and so she was asking the guy there in that supplement section if he knew whether you could take too much vitamin A. And if you did, would it be toxic to your body? Could you overdose essentially on vitamin A? Well, he didn't really know, but there was a girl standing by who did know, and she was overhearing the conversation. So she said to us, uh, do you mind if I answer that question? I couldn't help but overhearing the conversation. She said, actually, yes, you can overdose on vitamin A. But she said, it's really easy to check, you know, and to find out if, if that would be the case. It's basically uh, kinesiology. It's, you know, easy to do. So she said, in fact, I could check right now to see where your vitamin level A's are. And I said, really? How, how does that work? She said, what's your name? Uh, and I said, Daniel. She didn't know that already? No, she didn't know <laughs> that already. She says, what's your name? And I asked her what hers was. She's nice to meet you. So she said, can I have your arm for a moment? And she said, just lift your arm up like this. And she began to use two fingers and she started to tap my arm. And she goes, permission to access Daniel. And when she said that, I'm like, what? on earth. And then as soon as she had said that, she says to me, I don't know what's wrong. She says, I, I've never experienced this before, but I can't access you. Permission denied. Oh my gosh. We were so <laughs> blessed because even without knowing what she was trying to do using new age techniques, the Holy Spirit, who is our protector and the one who will lead us into all truth was literally not allowing her to have access to my body, to my she temple. She couldn't read you. She couldn't read me. And the Holy Ghost, who in my temple is all about him, you know, he was like, I am protecting, I am blessing, I am your protector. And we were so blessed to see the fact that she couldn't do what she wanted she to was, do. She was just ringing the doorbell. She was. And it was like nobody was home. <laughs> Isn't that great? So even though she was trying to use new age techniques on me, the greater one who is in me, greater than he who is in the world, absolutely did not allow that to happen because he knew my heart and knew where we were and what we were believing God for. So there's a lot of people who are going to try to use various techniques to try to receive healing. And a lot of them are what would be described as new age techniques. Mm -hmm. For instance, crystals, healing crystals. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are people who really believe that these crystals have power to be able to emanate or to release um, purity into the air, to relieve the air from toxins. Uh, it's almost like having your own air filter, but it's through these crystal rocks and the quality of your life is going to be improved. Well, listen, you know, I guess if that's where you're believing, 
you're probably going to receive some kind of benefit from some of this. But be how, what, <laughs> you got to be really careful what you're believing. And, you know, God made all of these things, right. you know, and called them good, but it didn't provide healing. He didn't provide healing through a rock. He provided healing through, he provided healing through his son, right. who is the rock. And I think, you know, um, we kind of, I kind of opened up this question. I lumped essential oils in with healing crystals and they're yes, different things. They okay? are very different. Um, but for me, the line is drawn as where does it match up with things in the word? Yeah. So there are lots of things, you know, most of our modern medicines actually come from plant-based substances. Aspirin comes from the aspen tree, bark yeah. of the aspen tree. Yeah, wait, say so, that again. Aspirin, aspirin comes from aspen trees. It's the the bark. bark of an aspen tree, right. which in it's Colorado, just, we have tons of aspen everywhere. trees everywhere. Right. So there, there are lots of natural, um, there are lots of medical things that we use these days that come from natural plant-based substances. Yeah. That's not new. Um, that's been around for centuries and people wouldn't ever think of um, healing crystals in the same sense as they would be popping a Tylenol. Right. But here's the difference for me. If something is a natural substance um, that's in the Word of God, and you know, uh, some of the prophets in the Old Testament actually um, used herbs and different things yeah. and told people to go take, take these herbs, um, you know, go take this wine as in the New Testament, right. um, it'll be good for your stomach. Yeah. And there are some, some natural things, even examples in scriptures where people were told to go and take this concoction of herbs or whatever, mm -hmm. um, and it would bring healing to you. Yeah. Um, and that, to me, that's no different from our modern medicine. Right. So essential oils for me would fall into that category. They're just, you know, lavender and different things. They, they come from things that God has given us. Yeah. Things that are good for us that are natural. Um, my problem with um, the spiritual, the crystals, yeah. is that people take it that one step further mm -hmm. and they start to say that they have a, um, some sort of supernatural power. Right. To me, that's a completely of the devil. Yeah, I agree. Um, and even, even with the um, essential oils and dare I say vitamins, mm -hmm. vitamins mm -hmm. in America, it's a bit, of a bit of a craze. We don't do that everywhere in the world. Yeah. Um, it really depends what we're putting our faith in. It does, doesn't it? There are lots of things that are good for us. Yeah. But you know what? My faith is not in, in a vitamin. In a vitamin or mm -hmm. a vitamin. Or a vitamin. My you know, my Either faith one. is not in my exercise program, even though that's good for me. Right. My faith is not in healthy eating right. or organic foods. Or the water I drink. Or the water I drink. Right. You know, my faith is in Jesus. Yes. And why I, th I think that we do need to be good stewards of what God's given us. He's yeah. given us this earth suit, this temple that needs to last us. That's right. So, you know, if we, if we fill it with junk, then we're going to have some, some junk to clear out, right? Yeah. I mean, we're going to have some issues. Yeah. Um, we need to take care of us and be a good steward of what God's given us. But let's not, mo let's not start putting our faith in something that we're doing. Yeah. Let's keep our faith in Jesus. That's such a great way to say that. And isn't it interesting, Carly, that all of these things are things that have been created. Mm -hmm. You know, in other words, the creator who created the earth has put all of these things in here for our benefit in some kind of way. But we, uh, the New Age movement makes it the provision rather than the great physician. Mm -hmm. You know, who is the one that actually provided healing for us? The one who created the universe. I mean, that's incredible when you begin to realize that God sent his only son to do for us what no crystal, no essential oil you know, could ever do for us. He gave us what only he could do. Mm -hmm. And in that, here he is, the creator of the world who has provided all of these, these plants, or as you would say, plants. Plants. Yes, the we plants. have to be very careful. Thank you. Yeah. And all of these things are in, he says, I've given you these things and I've called them good. Mm -hmm. So you know what? Let's not take what, you know, here's the deal. God is always good, but good is not always God. That's good. And we've got to, <laughs> <laughs> amen. We've got to be careful that we don't substitute a counterfeit gospel for the real gospel. Right. And the real gospel is the good news and the good news of God's word and his his quality of life that he has come to give us, forgiveness of sin, the healing of our bodies, everything that was provided for us through the atonement, there is no substitute for that. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that the very rocks would cry out in praise to God if we didn't praise him as the ones who he came to redeem. So mm -hmm. let's not let the things that are created declare to us how we're gonna live quality of life rather than the creator himself. Mm -hmm.
And you know, I think if, if you're not sure whether something is good for you or not, just because it's a craze out there, we have the Holy Spirit. You know, we have the mind of That's Christ really and he's going to lead us into all truth. Yes. And there's always going to be people and there's always going to be new crazies and new fads and things that come out. Yeah. But if you're not sure about something, but you have the Holy Spirit on the inside of you, you can pray in tongues mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit will give you wisdom and he'll show you the truth. He'll show you if something is good for you or not. Yeah. You know, he'll show you um, what foods to eat. He'll show you the best diet plan on the earth. Okay. So um, don't, don't be worried about making a wrong move because the Holy Spirit's got your back and he gives you wisdom in these areas. Well, we really hope that you've enjoyed um, our questions and answers sessions here and that it's been helpful to you. Yes. I know there are you, many more of you with questions that we haven't been able to answer across this series of videos, but if you come to our conference in August in Woodland Park, is the Healing is Here conference or the, or the conference that we're going to be having uh, shortly after that in North Carolina, Raleigh, Durham, we're going to be able to have a time to answer your questions then as well. We'll have, I know in Woodland Park, we'll have a question panel. Yeah. And who's going to be on that panel? You know, I don't even know yet, actually. We're still in the process <laughs> oh of forming Oh my goodness, it. you mean I've let the cat out of the bag. I know, you let the cat Shh. out of the bag. Shh. Don't tell anybody. But we will be answering questions, okay. and we really want to see you there at the okay. conference. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be incredible, and it's even better if you're going to be there. Yes. So come and get everything that God has for you. Be there. This is the first time I have walked by myself in two years. It was time for my healing today. The doctors told me there's no hope. I got healed.